the moon as we know it is 100% a man-made piece of technology. When you raise the question, how do they predict eclipses, it will lead you down the path of non-existent Greek philosophers like Aristotle. And it will tell you that the Greeks had a habit of writing things down. And, and this doesn't prove how they can predict supermoons and, and crescent moons and eclipses. Because if you apply this method and you go outside every night and start jotting things down, like what shape the moon is, it's not predictable. It's not a predictable phenomenon, okay? It's only predictable if you're in the know or behind it. Now, you can go and try this for yourself and, and turn off the television and the news and, and see if you can become the next Aristotle and begin predicting eclipses. We know all about um, like when they present something that's not true. For example, this current uh, version of the moon, this this uh, this rock in space, they have something to hide. Okay, that's why um, they present this this method because they want to cover it up. And they also attach things to it to make it seem relevant, like the moon controls tides and and menstrual cycles and and whatnot. Okay. Now, when you think about it, if you go back to the early origins of humanity, your primal instincts are to procreate, to eat, to sleep, and survive. It defies logic that someone sitting around saying, I'm going to invent a giant light in the sky and call it a moon. It's not possible to invent things on, on this kind of magnitude, okay? The same with televisions and, and all kinds of um, technology that we see in the modern world. If you see my video, The Progression of Technology, you will understand that man has an hasn't created any of this stuff and they use all these these fall guys like thomas edison and jeffries and all these fake inventors to lead people down um, the path of science which is a complete hoax all right now i'm not saying the creators of the human race are, are on this earth but the creators of the moon are without doubt um, running the world today, okay? You can't predict anything. The people, it's called witchcraft, all right? People like Nostradamus and, and all these prophets, okay? They're all contrived, all right? They, they make prophecies come true in the Bible through uh, writing them down, like in the Old Testament, like verses from Isaiah, and then this Jesus guy comes along and, and fulfills it, okay, but it only fulfills it in the book, not in reality. So you can make what you want of this. Like, um, I'm not saying they're aliens or, or what, but I am saying that it, the people who are behind this or the beings are, they have some kind of um, a higher level of intelligence, okay? They display things like like rockets and all this, this fake technology and jungle surfaces. They want to exaggerate, like, the technology that they got. And I, I've often thought about this before, and, and it swayed my opinion, but... I'm now starting to believe that they do have this um, this this extreme kind of technology that can that can project things like the moon and it's just it's just become so obvious to me. Now this path of thinking is is a distraction in itself and 
and it's something that I've been pondering the last few days and I've, I've found it like a real distraction from my my path in life and my my everyday duties you weren't designed to know you have this like this god idea and they want to throw your mindset into this invisible realm okay to distract you when the truth's usually right in front of your nose and you will ask the question are they evil or whatnot when if you look at nature you will see a cat completely devour and ravage ravish a beautiful parrot and you'll say that's cruel that's bad and, and they create these buzzwords like murder and, and rape and and all this all these buzzwords okay just to create all this hysteria and warp people's sense of right or wrong it is a beautiful creation and it's a beautiful life and when you're down this kind of rabbit hole it's easy for you to um to have your perspective warped all right it's almost like you've gone and and distracted yourself therefore you deserve to have your perspective warped okay you can you can make what you want of it entirely but back to my original point this moon um, is 100% um, it's it's just a superior piece of technology that they predict and if they if they are not behind it they are in the know from the um, beings that that are behind it